Hey Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check out your other placements for additional messages as this is a general reading. Messages may or may not apply, so just take what does and leave what doesn't for the next person. I could be picking up on somebody around you or somebody you could be dealing with, so you may have to swap the roles. And if this reading doesn't resonate right away, it can be something that happens down the line. So you can keep it in your back pocket if you'd like, or you can come back at a later date. If you don't like swearing, I suggest that you fuck off, alright? point blank that's all i gotta say take it or leave it and that being said we're gonna just look into what messages need to come through for this week what you can expect get some advice and yeah okay so what messages do we have for aries please for this upcoming week what messages do we have for my aries please aries sun moon rising and venus any messages for aries sun moon rising and venus for this next week, the next seven days, please. What the Aries expect? Dude, a week from now, it's Christmas. It just hit me. <laughs> the next seven days. Anyways, Merry Christmas if you celebrate, or Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. Can you believe this decade is literally over in a couple days? <sighs> anyways, sorry. <laughs> Messages for Aries, please. It just kind of hit me again. Like, you know, like, damn. Messages for Aries. <laughs> In the next seven days, please show us clearly. What messages do we have for Aries? What messages do we have for Aries? Someone rising Venus. Ooh. Princess of Wands. Eight of Cups in reverse. Oh, sheesh. Messages for Aries, please. Someone rising and Venus. Messages for Aries for the next seven days. Why am I getting that somebody may wish you a... I was going to say happy birthday. No. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I mean, maybe some of you are like have a birthday and you're watching, you know, moon or rising or some shit. Venus. Why am I, no, but like seriously, somebody may be like coming up from the past, wishing you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. Oh look, bottom of the deck, the world in reverse, unfinished business perhaps, somebody you may have unfinished business with. Anyways, just a side message just came to me, so I thought I would talk about it. Anyways, messages for Aries for the next seven days, please. What messages do we have for Aries for the next seven days? Thank you. Five of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. That's so funny. I, I saw this card come out earlier when I was prepping the deck. I was like, hey, maybe this card will come out. And it sure did. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. We do have some fire over here. We do have some water. I think you could be dealing with somebody from your past or somebody resurfacing, communicating with you. Very flirtatious, very flirty energy. Somebody who just doesn't take you or take people very seriously. They're just very lighthearted. Mm. It's somebody from your past or somebody you may have a history with with the Eight of Cups in the verse is telling me that you may have already walked away from this person, but it's almost as if there could be something resurfacing. Plus, when I was just like, okay, maybe somebody's wishing you a uh, happy holiday, happy Christmas, happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, whatever the fuck. Whatever you celebrate, happy Hanukkah, right? Whatever you do. Um, it could be somebody from your past trying to use that as a way to creep back in, so be aware of that. And I see that you could be very conflicted about that. Alright, so be very aware of people popping up. I know for a lot of people, there's been like a lot of like comeback arounds lately, even with me. So just like, just a warning for like just the general as a whole, the collective as a whole. There could be past people trying to resurface. It is like the very end of the decade, right? Which we're wrapping up shit. We're wrapping up cycles. We're wrapping up any unfinished business, right? So don't be surprised if there are people coming back, trying to creep back in before you start off something new. So just a little message for some of you. So don't, you know, be caught off guard if somebody you haven't heard from for a while tries to contact you or wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, etc., right? And it could be from an earth sign. doesn't have to be. Again, this is just the energy is coming through. Somebody who's very self-centered, have their head up their ass, very all about me, 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 me. And it's just like, you don't have time for this shit. And so it's like, if this is possible communication, because we do have the Princess of Wands over here, and that's a communication card right up, right up here, right? If it is communication, I see that you could be conflicted. Do I respond? Do I block? Do I say this? Should I respond? Should I give him another chance? Do I not? You know, you could be very conflicted as to what to do. Also, this could lead to potential arguing, like it's depending on how this goes or how you want to go about this. They may, This could easily backfire or just like, you know, adding flame to the fire. Let me look at the bottom of the deck. We have, 
Ooh, we got a Charmer over here. Prince of Cups in reverse. Oh, my deck's upside down. Lovers and the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe this is a, oh, Six of Cups in reverse. This could be somebody maybe in your home life, family life, or perhaps somebody you built a foundation with, home, maybe you lived with once upon a time. Either way, though, this is somebody you may have had a foundation with at one point, but then obviously shit hit the fan, you walked away, they walked away, somebody walked away, because obviously, in order for somebody to come back, they have to have left in the first place, right? Just saying. And so, this could have been somebody you were connected with or intimate with, or somebody you had a very divine soul wink, you know, soul tie connection over here. Somebody was definitely a charmer, though. Very, you know, like, this is exactly what I was saying very flirtatious, very just like playing on the field, have multiple options type energy, not very committal for some, right? Take it if it applies, leave it if it doesn't. And just like perhaps there was some type of decision you had to make, could have been about leaving somebody behind or they made a decision to leave you behind or maybe there's another person in the mix. Take it if it applies, leave it if it doesn't. Like I said, that was at the bottom of the deck. So let's get into clarifying, okay? Let's go into this, um, what should we go into? Let's go into this Queen of Pentacles in reverse and see who this is. Put it at the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, please, for Aries, Sun and Rising and Venus. Uh, I really, I wouldn't, I don't think that's you though, Aries. I really don't. I think this could be somebody coming towards you with communication. Because this is somebody who's very, like, self-centered, up in their own, their head is up their ass, like, all about them unreliable, unstable, you know, because, but this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, she is unreliable. You call her in the middle of the night, guess what? She's not answering. She's sleeping. Her phone is on Do Not Disturb. Her phone is turned off. She's not answering you. She won't, she may wake up, she will answer, be like, fuck off, don't call me, I'm sleeping, bye, hangs up, and just like, bitch, I need you, right? This person's very, all about themselves, not very reliable, and, uh, you're not about that. Oh, look, Temperance at the bottom of the deck in reverse. Yeah. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. No. Let's clarify and go into this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> Talking about this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, please. Talking about this Queen of Pentacles in reverse for Aries, Summer Rising, and Venus for the next seven days. Ooh. Okay. What do we have here? Five of Pentacles. See... You put this person out in the cold. You have maybe not talked to this person in a long time. Maybe this person may have isolated you or made you feel like you were out in the cold, ignored, not good enough, you know, shunned, um, given the cold shoulder or vice versa. Either way, though. Yeah, four of wands in reverse. One more for queen of pentacles in reverse. Not queen of pentacles in reverse. Star universe. That's so funny. It was at the bottom of the deck. And I was like, hmm, interesting. We'll see. And it came out. Alright, so it's just like, this is a person, this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, could be a Capricorn or an Earth sign over here. But this is a person who you may have isolated yourself from, or they isolated themselves from you. And maybe, so if you isolated them, isolated yourself from them, I can't get my English right, then I see that this person is like feeling lonely, probably missing you, etc. Whatever the fuck. Um, trying to come back, right? Or if this person left you, isolated you, made you feel like shit, they now want to come back. It's like, oh, really? You walked away from me? Now you're trying to come back? Uh-uh. I don't think so, right? Either way, though, whatever happened, whoever left who, doesn't matter. Four of Wands in reverse. This is something that was unstable, was not very... It just wasn't making you happy, or it was just not taking off the ground, false starts, perhaps somebody maybe was a liar and authentic or just had a mask on but it's almost as if like you've lost hope in this situation you've kind of given up on somebody or somebody given up on you you just don't see where it would go and so with this communication that's possibly coming in you're like why is this happening why are you coming in now I don't get the point of this <sighs> probably because they ran out of options <laughs> that's what I would think anyways we're gonna go Oh yeah, they ran out of options. Two of Pentacles in the bottom of the deck. They love to juggle. Emperor and Empress, somebody's controlling. Okay, could be another Aries as well. Anyways, let's go into the Eight of Cups in reverse for Aries. 
Probably the Eight of Cups in reverse, please, for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Talking the Eight of Cups. Oh, sheesh. Two of Cups. Two. I mean, Eight of Cups in reverse, please. Oh. 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 There's that charmer energy again. Prince of Cups in reverse. The King of Cups and the Two of Cups. There's you could be dealing with a water sign. There's heavy water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Clarifying the Eight of Cups, we have the Prince of Cups in reverse, the King of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Ooh, whoa. Okay. Um, this is some shady shit. Like just looking at this guy. Look at him. He's like kind of like hmm 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 ha 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 ha. Like what is going on here? Fuck if I know, but I'm all, it's like, hmm, he kind of looks suspicious, man. The way his hands are crossed, and then the Prince of Cups in reverse, I'm getting total charmer. Somebody who's going to try and like, oh, I'm so, like, feed you all these super kind words, try to suck you back in, try to pull you back in. But words don't mean shit. It's about the actions. So if you say all these, a say all these words, but then your actions don't follow through, Get that bullshit away, right? But this, they could be like, oh, Aries, I miss you so much. I miss the connection we used to have. I wish what we once, I miss what we once were, etc. Trying to like, I really miss you. I love you so much. Oh my God, I've changed. I've grown. But it's just, it's, they're just the charming ways. They're ways of manipulation trying to suck you back in. Do you want that, Aries? Do you want that after you possibly breaking free from whatever this could have been? I guess we'll find out as we continue, right? But the two cups, twos mean choices. You got a choice. Do I stay or do I go? <laughs> My God, so dramatic. I'm sorry. So let's go into the Princess of Wands and look into this communication. Tell me about this Princess of Wands, please, for Aries, Sunrise, and Venus for the next week. Tell me about the Princess of Wands, please, for Aries, Sunrise, and Venus. Turn to the Princess of Wands, please, for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Turn to the Princess of Wands for Aries. Ace of Cups in reverse. Well, look at here. I was like, should I stay or should I go? You have a decision to make about a possible offer. And what is this communication? Boom. Rejection. Let's see what else needs to come out. That's <laughs> so funny. Uh, princess, oh, what the fuck? Where did that go? Sorry. <laughs> Princess of Swords in reverse. Oh, man. <laughs> Princess of Wands, please. The Sun in reverse. This motherfucker. Oh, but you've seen shit clearly, though. You're looking from a different perspective. You see right through their ways. And so it's just like, whatever this communication is, this communication is fake. False, 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 false. I can smell the bullshit from a mile away. I'm not buying it. So there's this communication. Oh, I'm, I've changed. I've grown. I miss you. Very flirtatious. You looking so good. You're so beautiful. You're so this. You're so that. Oh my God. Can I please take you out? What's their motive? What's their motive behind this? Why are they coming back? Why is this person from her past coming back? What are their reasons? What are they really up to? And why are they coming in like this and they're very like, go, 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 very persistent? What's that about? Why are they coming to you as a princess? A page? Down here, this immature surface level. Why are they coming in with the sun in reverse? Possibly because maybe things have left on like an unhealthy or no, I meant to say unhappy. I guess maybe in the past it was unhealthy. I didn't even mean to say unhealthy, but I guess I came out the way it did. Um, unhappy situation. Things could have maybe ended badly in the past or left on bad terms. It's looking at me like you don't really have much to give to this person. or not, not that much to say either. Talking about the five senses, right? Ace of Cups. One, two, three, four, five. Touch, taste, smell, hear, see. Your five senses, you don't really have much to give. Because you're like, listen, man, this shit doesn't make me happy. You could be dealing with a Leo over here. We have Aquarius. We have a lot of water over here. Could be dealing with a water sign. Doesn't have to be. 
but this is communication. It's almost like half truths coming through, not giving you the full picture, confusion for some, not really understanding. Like, why are you coming back now? Once I moved on, you see I moved on, and now you're coming back? Why didn't you come back a month ago, a year ago, a whatever ago? Why now? Is it because I have this, and now you see that I'm doing better with it? Like, you know, what's this person's intentions? Why are they coming back now? Very suspicious, and you're very conflicted. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, the five of wands for Aries, please. Starting this next week. Five of wands for Aries, please. Find the five of wands for Aries, please. Someone I think. Oh, sheesh. See the moon. Piscean energy. A lot of water. Shady shit. Did I not say somebody here looks a little shady? What are you up to? What are you planning? Very mischievous. Like, look at him. Very, like, what are you... Oh, it's not even focusing. And for some reason, my finger is burning for a second. Like, if, literally, my finger feels like it's burning right now. Like, as if I stuck my finger in the fire. Oh, it's gone now. That was weird. It literally felt like my finger was, like, hot. What the hell? <laughs> what if I know? But this person's shady. And then the fact that we have the moon coming out. Shady. Mysterious. You don't know what they're up to. You don't know what their intentions are. You're very confused. You don't understand the point of why they're reaching out to you. Or why they're saying Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. You're like, what are your intentions behind it? And it's just like they try to dodge whenever you try and ask, like, why are you contacting me? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? They're trying to just be sly and slick and like, oh, very so charming. Oh, because I missed you, Aries. Or whatever the fuck their reasoning is, right? You're not buying it. What is this card? King of Swords, you're not buying it. You're like, you have your guard up. You're like, who are you? What do you want from me? What's your, what's your intentions? Because this, oh, Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, dude. Okay, let's get one more. Five of Wands, please, for Aries. For the next week. Six of Swords, looking like you're going to be moving on from this shit, though. Six of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Fail. It's like, yeah, 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 nice try, nice try. Reject. Anyways. Yeah, it's like, whatever this communication is, you're very conflicted. You don't understand what their intentions are. You don't trust it. You have your guard up. You don't really believe whatever this person's saying. You could be calling them out on their shit or, like, you know, their charming, manipulative ways. Like, I'm not falling for that shit. I know you're shady. I don't know what your intentions are. You're confusing me. I'm going to go away. Thanks. But I'm moving this way. Please don't follow me. Please stop contacting me. Please go away. <laughs> like, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Let's look into your expected timelines. Tell me about Aries' expected timelines, please. In the near future. <laughs> Tell me about Aries' expected timelines in the near future. Tell me about Aries' expected timelines in the near future, please. Aries expected timelines in the near future. Ooh, we have you guys coming through with the Emperor. Hell yeah, taking control. The world is in the palm of your hands. Find the oh, not taking that. Talking about the oh, okay, damn. Ooh, Hierophant. Talking about Aries expected timelines in the near future. You're scared, but you're going to be making a decision. You're taking the blindfold off. You see the things clearly, and you're making a decision to release yourself from this stress, unnecessary bullshit, overthinking, conflict, drama, not trusting. You're, you're letting it go. You're letting it go. You're giving it control over the things that are out of your control, and you're, you're taking control over your own life, your own thoughts, everything you do, right? That's what I'm seeing here. So, honestly, I don't feel the need to clarify the moon in reverse. 
Actually, maybe I will. I'm not going to clarify these two, though. You made a decision to release yourself from the stress, but I kind of do want to know what gets exposed over here. We'll look into that, okay? Not super... Oh, Ten of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck, yeah. Um, deck is upside down. Turn to the Moon in reverse, please, for Aries. Right in the expected timelines. Maybe you find out some interesting, juicy details about this person or their shady ways or some shit. Turn to the Moon in reverse, for Aries. Definitely getting some type of enlightenment, though. Moon in reverse for Aries, please. Turn out the moon in- ooh! Ooh! I'm gonna take this top card. Wow! <laughs> wow! Ace of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. The Fool in reverse. Seven of Wands. Four of Cups. I'm just totally getting this rejection energy. Like, no thanks. I don't want to take a leap of faith on you. I don't have faith for this. I don't want you. Thank you. I have my guard up. I don't trust you. And it's just like you're just, you're just whatever you're being offered is is just not what you want. It's not what you want. You may already have what you want for some, right? Maybe you already have something. We have an idea. Maybe it hasn't come to fruition yet. But whatever this the last uh, last spread was about that was being extended to you, you're like no, not making me happy. I'm my guard up. I don't trust you. And no way in hell am I taking a leap of faith on you. Especially if this person may have left you in the past. It's like, you left me once. So what's going to stop you from leaving me again in the future, right? Got to keep that in your back pocket, you know? Just because they may come towards you and they're acting like they changed. And like, they're, it's been, it's a Christmas miracle. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> Um, don't buy it, you know, especially if they put you through some shit in the past and they're very not slick, shady. Don't trust that shit. Trust your intuition, right? The moon's about your intuition. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to your intuition. Okay, so that's all I gotta say for the moon in reverse. Also, the ace of wands was in reverse too, so it's just like turning some shit down. Anyways, let's go. I'm not going to clarify the two of swords or the nine of swords in reverse because there's no point. You made a decision to release yourself after just making the decision. I'm not taking a leap of faith on you. Adios. So let's go into hmm, the higher thing. You could be dealing with the Taurus or another Aries, right? We do have more Pisces coming through. Turn it the higher thing, please. For Aries. Tell me the Hierophant, please, for Aries. Woo! Got a card falling down. Eight of Swords and Princess of Swords. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have Two of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. Some of you are afraid of commitment. Or you could be dealing with somebody who is afraid of commitment. Somebody who may be... Some shady shit. Either way, on what I'm seeing here, there's a lot of um, air coming through. It's like... Maybe this is talking about the last spread, like an opportunity to commit, but it's just like, why would I want to commit to somebody who's not committable? Um, like this was that communication coming through, right? And it caused you to feel stuck, very conflicted. What do I do here? And so you're juggling, what do I do? Do I stay? Do I go? Do I accept? Do I decline? You just, you, in this spread, obviously up to you, but there's like two of swords, two of pentacles. We have the two of cups, a lot of decision making over here. And then the seven of swords, it's just like, you could tell that somebody was fishy up to no good. They were promising, like, oh, I want to take things to the next level, Aries. But you're like, something seems fishy. I don't trust it. Almost like, you know, the way he's looking at this world in his hand. He's kind of, like, inspecting it. So you could have been inspecting this offer of, like, commitment or taking things to the next level because you're like, nah, this seems suspicious. Right? Or maybe... If this is not related to whatever this past shit was that was resurfacing, this could be something in the near future where maybe there's going to be something presented towards you and you don't really trust it because it seems fishy, therefore you feel a little bit stuck, but you're going to have to take the blindfold off and choose on if you should stay or if you should drop it. Anyways, that's about the Hierophant, so there may be some type of fear to commit or just like there's some type of suspicion of a commitment and you're not really trusting it or somebody here's not trusting this. I think it has to do with the last spread though because that just seems more fitting to the context. Yeah, six of wands in reverse, just like fail, not successing, not taking off, not successful, not taking off the ground, not 
what you want. Whatever. Let's move on. Let's go into the Emperor. And then we'll get some advice. Tell me the Emperor, please. For Aries. Upcoming timelines for Aries. Tell me the Emperor for Aries, please. King of Wands in reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, see that con contemplative energy. Anything else? Probably not. Okay. So, you know how I was saying, like, very inspecting of, like, this little world that you're holding? Like, there's that contemplation again. King of Wands in reverse. In and out type energy. Somebody who's very non-committal. This is probably whatever the past person shit was. And so you're kind of suspecting that it would just be the same old shit. That's why you're making this decision to turn it down, right? I guess I probably should have started clarifying from the top and working it to the bottom, but I guess the order doesn't matter. But again, when you look at this card in the upright, he's very calm. Com I was going to say complaining the fuck. Um, very contemplative. Like, he's deciding. I don't know if I trust this. He has his finger, his hand on his chin. He's like, hmm, I don't know if I trust this, you know? Contemplating. I don't know, man. Something seems off. Something seems fishy. My garden is missing something. I'm not sure about this, right? Therefore, major change is coming once you make this decision, once you choose, because this person that you're kind of inspecting, you're holding this person in, you're holding this little fuckboy, fuckgirl type in your hand, you're inspecting it. Mm, I don't know if I trust this. Uh, hmm, thinking about it. Mm, I don't know about this. I kind of smell some bullshit, you know? Hmm. Uh huh. Hmm. Hmm. I have my guard up, you know? So. This is kind of what I'm seeing here. It's like in the near future, whenever this may happen, right? Communication may come through or there's an opportunity because obviously whenever this will resonate, will resonate. You're going to kind of contemplate it, very conflicted. Then you're going to have to make a decision by trusting yourself, trusting your gut, trusting what feels best for you. But looking at the cards that came out, eh, you'd probably be better off if you just fucking left this person alone and kept moving forward, honestly. That's just my own advice. Take it or leave it. We're going to get some actual advice, though. Any advice for Aries regarding the spread for the next seven days? Any advice for Aries, please, for the next seven days or regarding this reading? Right? Any advice? Ooh! Princess of Wands and Everts coming through. Flipped out all by itself. Wait. I'm going to flip this. Otherwise, I'll be fucking up my deck. Okay. Any advice, please, for Aries, Summon Rising, and Venus? Okay. Ooh, see the truth. See the truth of the situation. Please look at it clearly. Don't let this person try and feed your ego and try to sway you back in. Okay? Especially if they've done you wrong in the past. Anyways, any advice for Aries? <laughs> oh, funny. Any advice for Aries, please? Any advice for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then the <laughs> hangman, bottom of the deck. So as your advice, Aries, regarding this communication that's coming through whenever it does, whether it happens in this week span or down the line, when this comes through, very be careful of trying not to get sucked back into the old ways, old habits. Um, okay, you may need to choose to just keep on walking away from this bullshit because it may just be a waste of your time and it's looking like there would be success elsewhere. So whatever you were choose to walk towards, I see it working out way better than sticking with this past shit. Okay, and with justice being in reverse, you could be doing Libra over here, but it's just like, please remember those life, life, le life lessons that you've learned. Do not go back in time. Do not just take 10 steps backwards. It's time to move forward. Keep moving forward. Do not move backwards, all right? Remember those life lessons. Don't think about it to the point of remanifesting similar opportunities or similar situations, outcomes, but... Do not just like push it under the rug and pretend it never happened. Remember what you've learned. Remember the lessons. Remember what you learned from it. And don't repeat it, basically, is what it's telling me. Keep moving forward. Leave that shit behind. Don't forget about it, but don't repeat it. Because you know better. You know, you know better than to fall for this bullshit behavior again. So, that's what I got for you guys. 
And let me know if it resonated down in the comments below. And with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.